everyone and welcome back to Rachel's world today I just decided to make um, a small goat meat that I have in the freezer so I will be cooking and frying it and I'll be showing the step-by-step -step, uh, process of making it so stay tuned so now I have washed the goat meat um, because it was frozen, I had to use hot water and I added um, a little salt in the water to wash it. And these are the things I'll be needing to cook it. I'll be needing onions. I cut up the onions like this just because um, I don't want it to like uh, this is um, in the goat meat while I'm cooking it. So I'll take it out after boiling the goat meat before I start frying it. And I need uh, time need a stock cube this is the chicken flavored uh, boiling cubes and I will be needing salt now all we need to do is to add um, put all of these in the pot do our onions on top of it Add salt. Now um, I'll be using two stock cubes. And then we add our thyme. to add too much and then I've also added water in the pot so now I'm going to put it in the stove um, I just want to say that when it comes to cooking um, the reason why I don't really say the measurements is because it depends on individuals taste and um, it also depends on the quantity you're cooking so now um, I'm just going with the quantity that I'm cooking because this um, goat meat is pretty small. Now it goes on the stove and I turned the, the stove on a medium high and so I can easily monitor the cooking. And also as you can see my deep fryer is also set and preheating. So by the time the goat meat is done, it will be uh, very hot or uh, hot enough to put the goat meat in it. This is how it looks when it's boiling. But it's not yet done. Still cooking it. So I have been cooking it for about 25 minutes now. And um, we put a fork into it and uh, I put a fork into it and it went through so that is one way to know that it is done or you can bite into it just give it a little bite and you know when it is chewable it is now it's looking pretty so I'm going to bring the pot down now and um, take it out of the water and let it sieve for a little bit and then I'll put it in the frying or in the deep fryer now it's ready to go in the deep fryer After frying it for about five minutes, this is what it looks like. It's all done. It doesn't take time. But thank you very much for watching. See you next time on my videos. Bye.